Welcome back to some Mud Runner. Uh, we are going to be doing like I uh, have been doing in the past some live recordings. Um, we might just a heads up. I might have a little bit of of role play element talk in it. Like I might use the CB radio or something every now and then. But not a whole lot. I'm not going to develop a huge story. I might just say something funny. But uh, that's that's about it. So... Anyway, uh, just a heads up, I am going to be playing my driving games today, and I guess after that, we're going to take down the wheel uh, and just have a nice clean desk for just playing Spooktober starting tomorrow. But I will be a little bit late tomorrow because my aunt schedules an appointment on Spooktober 1st. Of all things, when I tell her, no Spooktober scheduling. And it's the first thing she does, a scheduling an event, a doctor's appointment. On October 1st. Hold on. I got to tell her when I'm live, I can't carry on a conversation on here <laughs> on, on messenger. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have some tea. <sighs> I've got to where I love my unsweet tea. The bitterness of it kind of wakes you up. It makes you feel better. Let's go. Uh, we are going to just continue. Um, Okay, okay, yeah. So heads up, this might be the last streaming episode of Mud Runner for a while, just to let y'all know, uh, until after Spooktober. All right, we are back to Mud Runner, and... It is time to figure out what we're doing. We got to finish getting loads of logs. And the best thing, if I remember correctly, let's use that to fill that up. And then let's change truck to the C255. I love this here thing right here. This is, I think it's my favorite one. Now, we're not going to go get we're not going to go get the um the logs out of the mud. All right. How do I take my parking brake off? There we go. <laughs> I'm not not really remembering how to do much on this. Because I've been playing other stuff so much. So. This might be a very bad idea.
Okay, so I believe we just got to go to the login station. Um, there's a log station here. And then we've got to take it to... Okay, so there's a log station there. That's where I've been going. Uh, let's try for this one. And then we'll figure out from there, potentially, where we need to go for the lumber mill, which is over here. Um, the reason I like this log station is that it's fairly close to that, and you can just drive up here around that way and get there. So we'll try at least one from here, though. By the way, uh, I don't know that I've done this in any of the videos uh, so far, but um, or the the previous streams, I do have a little role play element I've set up with uh, some CB sounds I made. Uh, the long beep is the start, and then the it it denotes the start of a uh, conversation, and then the the short beep or the double beep is the end of the conversation is what it will be. And if I put in a conversation, it's not going to be a whole lot of story related. I mean, it kind of is, but. It's more going to be, um, crap, how do I cut my lights on? There we go. Okay. So anyway, it's going to be more of a thing just to say something funny here or there, probably. I figured I, I better do this to where I am going a specific way to get this. Now, we might not do good with this i don't know <laughs> um we're gonna have to see this might just be a little too much for me to do i figured though hey this is something i will do for for the video was go down here and grab these so We'll try to get one load. All right. Let me explain to y'all what differential lock is, what I have learned, and basically what it means. So a differential lock actually locks your I can't see okay so yeah there is a road all the way down so um the differential lock what that does is it makes your tires so that they can they can drive independently when you're turning they can drive at a different speed uh, I actually had a video pop up, I don't know why, explaining how it worked in the the old days. There's a tree down right there. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, we'll see how... Um, We'll see how it, it goes. Ah, you know what? 
I think that these are long. I don't think I'll be able to do this. Okay, so no, I was able to do it. Okay. All right, well, let's go through here. So the way it was explained, now we could, we could technically turn around and go back the other way. Oh, 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 which way, which way? To... Now, if we go to the right, we can cut off all this extra mud and just go through town here, and I think that that would be the best way to go. I don't think that we can cut through there, to be honest with you, so I just don't think it's going to be feasible for me. So anyway, though, um, what it allows you to do now, I don't know if it's locked when it allows it or if it's unlocked when it allows it. That part I've not figured out. But it allows for one wheel to turn faster than the other wheel based on the turn of the axle. Therefore, when I make a left turn, I'm able to more accurately turn and not kind of spin out. So I think in mud, you would want it to actually be the same so that the, the differential is locked, I believe, to where they turn it the same amount of time. That way, you're always pushing with one or with, with the other one, I guess you could say. So and if I've got that backwards, if unlocked is when... um when they do the same thing let me know but if it i think it's when they're locked they um they do the same thing and then when they're unlocked they do not so let's actually go ahead and turn off all wheels and diff lock uh all right it's getting morning Okay. I have to say, I do love this game. I don't know what parts we'll do next. I need to do the base game. I didn't realize that this is actually one of the DLC maps. The last few days, I have just been dead to the world. I didn't stream the last two days because of it. Saturday, I was really tired, and I slept for 20 hours. Yesterday, I probably slept another 15 hours. I just have not been feeling good. I don't know why. And like right now, I'm so tired, I don't know what to do. And I haven't been up very long at all. What's our gas looking like? Oh, we're good on gas. Run away, run away. 
I hope I'm not a runaway here. I'm going to kind of ride the brakes a little bit and run over here and grab some gas. We still have one load to deliver at this point. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, we leaving the gas station now. You know what? I don't think y'all are hearing that. Give me a second. Why is it not doing it? All right. Uh, so I will have to go back in and actually get the, the audio for... I'll have to go get the audio for the video. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's not going to the desktop like it's supposed to. Uh, after I have delivered this, we'll, uh, we will cut the game off and back on. But I have, to, I have to deliver this or get to where I'm going. So... I actually think this is a much easier delivery than the other. So we'll do this one again, most likely. Okay, I don't know what just happened. I was trying to force it into another gear. All right, we don't need them lights right now. Let's try this again. Yeah, it's not coming through for the stream on the desktop. That's really weird, but I do have it planned for the, the, the video capture audio It's it's recording it. I don't get that. <laughs> So here's the thing about this game I have figured out. If you are loaded down, you have a lot less uh, problem driving on the road than if you're not loaded down. <laughs> like if, if I didn't have this on here, I'd have to have some of that other stuff on.
like the differential lock and the all wheel tires and stuff. All wheel drive, I mean. But without it, I'm actually driving just fine now since I'm loaded down. And yeah, uh, it, there's no sense in me doing the CB radio. I had mentioned that before, but I don't think that y'all were able to actually even hear it. Oh my goodness, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and switch out to this mode. I know that I'm going to need this. I'm going to need both of those on. This right here has me sad right now. I go to put the winch up and it automatically puts the parking brake on. How about that? Now, here we've got to be careful. I will try to splice together uh, the, the footage of this, but I'm going to have to try to fix that sound. Going down this hill that we're coming up to, I actually think I want differential lock on for this hill. Yeah, right here. Hold on, hold on. You, I'll cut it back off for now, but you get to going way too fast. It might be because I had that on. I don't know. This is just a dangerous hill for me. <laughs> All right, we should be fine now. We are almost there. We're going to make the same exact trip one more time after I fix the sound. But 
we'll have to uh go make sure that we get gas again. We should be fine. Let's do this one. Okay. Unload. So that is that one done. And now we got to get back. I believe, yeah, we got to get um one load in there. All right, let me pause this. Uh. Let me make sure that this is working right. Uh, all right, let's get it going. I don't know what's up with that. That's not right. It. It should be working. Oh, y'all, y'all got some. Y'all got sound now. All right, let me uh, remux that. That was 22 minutes and 52 seconds long. Okay. All right, now I should have audio. Let's check our map and let's see where we're trying to get to. All right, yeah, we'll just do the same route we just done. Uh, no reason to do the other one. I, I enjoy this one a little bit more. Let's go into this. Glad there's not other traffic in this game. I 
All right. Here we go. Having a tough time. All right. Load me up. There we go, baby. I think most of the last trip was in the cab, so this trip will do mostly out of the cab if we can. Uh, if y'all prefer in cab first person or out of cab third person, let me know. I like both. I kind of prefer first person, but I do like seeing the truck in all its glory, muddy glory, baby. As a kid, I was no stranger to mud. My cousin and I played Rambo all the time and we would be down to our underwear and <laughs> we would be covered in mud from head to toe. Our, our grandma whooped our butts. <laughs> but grandma, grandma was in the mud. <laughs> she said, oh my God, I'm gonna kill y'all. <laughs> Made us go take a bath. We went and done it again. <laughs> oh, that time we really got burned up because we damn well knew better at that point. <laughs> you make a mud pie, and if she found out you made a mud pie, she'd make you eat it. <laughs> Back in my days of growing up, there weren't no just letting kids get Bible crap like that people do nowadays. You got your ass torn, just tore up, all tore up. <laughs> my, one of my aunts, she said something got her all tore up. <laughs> and we, so we say that never did my butt man. Jason both got our asses torn off several times and when i did it was because of jason <laughs> oh no hold on There were plenty of times. No, Jason would do stuff 
and grandma would give us both a whooping for it. Even if I hadn't done anything like Jason calling Justin a turd. I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know what you're even talking about. Yeah, I remember that now. Nah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Y'all just thought I did. I just let y'all win. <laughs> so y'all would shut up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> all right. Hey, we went through that without the wheel lock and all of it. We're going to actually turn those on because they're going to help on the, the hills, I think. If I'm not mistaken, this load should finish Grizzly Creek. A slower roll a little bit. Oh, 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 damn. Trying to, now it's so stupid. You can run into a tree. You're the dumbass that told me to eat it. <laughs> Yo, your mama tells you to eat a dandelion. Just being facetious. And you're a kid. What the hell are you going to do? You're going to do what your mama says. You tell me who was meaning that. You did. You did. No. You said, go ahead. Eat it. You'll like it. You did too, liar. You absolutely did. Y'all, she's lying. <laughs> she told me to eat it. Go ahead, eat it. <laughs> mm hmm. All right. We're almost there. I hid under the house. I would never go under the house. See if we can't get across here.
There we go. Oh, man. Gonna get dark on us again. Hold on. Be careful, be careful. I want my differential working at this point because it's causing me to sway otherwise. We might put on all-wheel drive, but... Without differential lock, it might be better on the road this way. We didn't have to worry about it too much. So tomorrow, we will jump back into Diablo to start our Spooktober event. I can't believe Spooktober's here. I am not ready for it. Mama, please bring me some uh, sugar-free turtles and some sugar-free candies for Spooktober, as well as some Chunkies. There we go, game finished. Whoo, man. All right, it took us four hours, 54 minutes. We've consumed 625 liters of fuel. Uh, we unlocked seven of seven trucks, two garages, two or four watch points. We traveled, whew, um, 47.56 kilometers and then we were rescued eight times <laughs> new maps and vehicles are unlocked let's go ahead and return to the main menu how about that we've done it finally finished something on mud runner so for the episode that's going to be it there All right, I got to splice those two together and fix the audio in that first part. But let's go back in here and we will try. Mount. Logmore, oh my gosh, the bog. All right, so the DLCs, American Wilds, are in America, while the rest of the game is in Russia, uh, from what I read. So, um, we could do America, or we could just go to Russia. Uh, we're only going to do probably an hour more. I don't know for sure. We could just go ahead and do Mount Logmore and start there and see what we can do. Um, 
if you if y'all have if y'all have a request for which one then let me know otherwise we'll just try to go in order maybe All right, let's do the bog. I don't know. Bog looks like it might be boggy boggy. Oh, man. Whoa, look at the... Whoa, dude, that's... I don't know about that now. I haven't... Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe go with Mount Logmore to, to um see if we can't finish this. All right, let's we'll do it. All right, we're gonna go with Mount Logmore for the next map. I'm gonna go ahead and we've got. I can't remember if it was that one or that one that I wanted. Uh, but we're going to make sure that we have that, the Chevrolet Blazer this time. And uh, let's, let's see. We can have a four-star truck, basically. Um, so we could do that one. I think that the Western Star is the one that I was doing. But then this guy right here, the C255, was the one that I was able to do a little bit better. Um, now, we've got this old Chevrolet something, and we've got a tractor. What? Now, I like that tractor, but what about this guy? Hmm. I'm a little bit reluctant to to do this. So the bison is not suited for off-roading. So the Western Star is, and it's a good one. But I don't know what we'll find here. So let's go. Let's try the one here. The C375. See how good that is. Is there a four star that I can grab? I don't think so. Not yet, anyway. Okay. So that's what we're going to go with this time. Um, hey, CG. Let's go ahead and hit start new game casual. And Mount Logmore it is. All right. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at our map now that we're here and it looks like this is our garage so i have never seen this place before how about we not um okay that's where we want to go right there so let's actually go ahead and take that off what we want to do is just go along the road here nope all right boom i know this might look weird but in all honesty it's better to do it segmented like this Whew. 
that's not going to be good. <laughs> um, until you can... Okay, so you, I can't have any more. That's what it is. All right, once we get there, we'll do the next one. So now if we look, there's actually a skitter that's not. And then there's the bison. Deliver add-ons with garage points to the, un, to the locked garage to unlock it. Drive the fuel station to the fuel station. Refuel your add-ons. Recall the Ford F-150 F to assist you. Recalling is only available in single-player mode. So, yeah, we'll have an F-150. Uh, I'm going to just keep using the um, Blazer, I think, for this. But let's go ahead and let's get going. Bun, 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 bun. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Darn. All right, hold on. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta put the, um, fix the wheel. There we go. I don't know that that fixed it. It did a little bit. <laughs> so if, if y'all don't know, uh, okay. If y'all don't know, um, if for some reason your, your steering wheel, your Logitech steering wheel don't work, all you really got to do is unclick and click this um, centering spring and you'll be good. All right, the Chevrolet Bison is unlocked. So let's go ahead and back up. Let's go ahead back into this. Now we're gonna try to go for the garage first thing. We'll unlock stuff on the way so we can jump to it, but the Chevrolet Bison from, in my opinion, is not really that great. We'll just try to go get some fuel with it. I think basically what we need to do is have a fuel truck at each location. How are you doing this, uh, today, CG? Hey, bad. Tomorrow begins Spooktober. There will be jellies and candy. And maybe a community challenge. All right, I believe we're going up this way. Let's put it in park. So we went Hmm. 
We're going to get our F-150. It looks like there are two F-150s. Okay. All right, it's unlocked. The reason that I have not been doing jellies and stuff like that is that they are in a uh, cooler. And the reason they're in a cooler was because I had a mouse that was trying to get into all my snacks. And I didn't want him getting into my snacks. But I got him. He has been disposed of. He was a big rascal, too. I think he was a rat and not a mouse. So, you know, I've been having problems with this where I'll just suddenly shoot out of the road and stuff. That's the differential lock, actually. Nah. <laughs> no, he got my cough drops. He got my, um... He got my cough drops and he got my, my cereal. Upstairs and downstairs, and he got my, um, uh, what was it? I, I had some chips, and he got them, and I got him. <laughs> I got him in a trap, but, uh, we had, we had an infestation of rats when I was about 12 years old. I mean, huge fricking rats. And we had, uh, like, they were under our house and I mean, they were every bit of like, one and a half foot long and big gray ugly things what they i guess what they call black rats um i'm not sure if they're gray rats or black rats but i think that that's what they call the black rat and uh we couldn't we couldn't get rid of them to start with. This thing is not driving right. So, um, I used to have a slingshot ads. Okay, I'll finish my story after the ads. Let's look at the map right quick. Let's put our parking brake on. We are 
the fuel station's way up here, so... It looks like we've got a log station here. It doesn't look like there's a, a place that's going to stop us. I don't know. So we can probably just load up there or just... Where was the other one at? I'm going to go to that garage first and then come back and get that one there. Uh, and then we'll go to the fuel station as well. There's the other log station over there. So, yeah, our best bet is to go to this garage, go up here to the log station, get our logs, and then come back. Oh, there's a log station here, so maybe here. That shit makes me sick. So, all right. So anyway, back, it had to have been, I was actually probably 14 or 15, I guess. Um, so I had a slingshot back then and we would see these rats run across and these, I mean, they were big rats and so my uh my grandma was like that shit ain't gonna fly around here <laughs> and so um we went how many points is this only one all right so at that point we went to, um, the store and I got some screws to build something and I had a bunch left over. <laughs> and so <laughs> when, uh, I got the... I got these screws. I had some little um, wood screws that I weren't going to use. And I, I had happened to have them beside of me. And I had been outside shooting my slingshot at the tree. And let me tell y'all, older people, y'all might think, well, okay, slingshots, are, they're not toys. Well, in my age, my, my day and age, slingshots were toys. Um they were weapons and toys at the same time and so i pick up a screw out of that box and i look and that rat runs across there and i'm like <laughs> my grandma was a dead eye with with a slingshot and she taught me how to use that one and so i killed I killed that darn rat with the slingshot and the screw. <laughs> and that, if that thing had a got you in your sleep, he would have ate you alive. That was a big so-and-so. Okay. So I tell you what we'll do is we'll pick that one up afterwards. Uh, let's go get. He's destroyed, so I need to. Oh, you know what? I might be able to actually get him fixed. So, yeah, it. You might think that you couldn't, um, awesome. All right. I need to actually go get some fuel now. I didn't realize I didn't have it. So 
Uh, yeah, we'll we'll be fine with that one. I don't need to do that with that. So anyway, though, you would not believe uh, how well a slingshot would work against something like that, though. <laughs> and I remember my grandma um showing me at my aunt's place at the lake how to shoot the slingshot and she'd say you see that up there that leaf on that tree boom she'd knock it off if y'all ever seen uh granny on the beverly hillbillies how she was such a good shot with uh the shotgun and then she was um or ellie may was a good shot with the slingshot my grandma was twice the shot that both of them were, and my grandpa was five times the shot that both of them were. Jed weren't too bad either with the old uh, rifle he had, the old repeater he had. I enjoy target shooting. I got a BB gun set up like a sniper rifle. <laughs> I'll go out to my mama's and shoot leaves off the trees. <laughs> shoot the little bird uh, thing out there that we got. It's a little metal bird. All right, we got it. Now, let's look at this and see. I guess let's go ahead and go back this way. Um, according to this, we've unlocked the other trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. There should be another truck or another item somewhere, I think. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. I don't know. Let's go this way and just explore. go off-roading I will tell y'all now, those rats back then that had invaded us, they scared me. They they actually did. As a kid, they scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I know, bad. I'm not ready for Spooktober. I'm really not ready. As much as I love doing the Spooktober event, I think that we're going to cool it down quite a bit from what it was. I just, I love it, but I just, I don't feel like doing it all the time anymore. We'll have to get Costume Quest 1 or 2 both going. Uh, this year, maybe. I don't really care for Stardew Valley. 
I've got it. I bought it a long time ago when I've played it a little bit. It's the time in it. it I don't like to be restricted by time constraints on a game, and that game's time constraints are ridiculous. I just don't care for time constraints. Why is it every time I go to go straight, he goes off to the side instead? Whoa, what is that? Whoa, hold on, hold on. I don't know what we're looking at over here. A Freightliner and a Western Star. Hell yeah! There were two extras. We got us a Western Star, baby! Yeah, baby! Now we're talking. That Freightliner will go put some uh, fuel in. And the Western Star will use as a delivery truck. Oh, wow. Look, we're way over here. I do think it's going to come back out here. Um, I don't know, but we're... Somebody send me the name Mount Logmore. <laughs> Mount Logmore. Bad, just send me that name on um, Facebook Messenger, please. So when I titled the video, it will be the right one. I think we've got all of the the trucks unlocked mount logmore uh here look top left of the screen mount logmore i just need that name Logmore, L O G M O R E. All right, let's check it out. Hey, look where we're at. Okay, um, Let's go up here to this Ford. Stop. Stop being difficult, bad. I ask you for help on something and you want to make jokes, dude. I need to uh, fix this truck. It's probably broken down. I don't know. All right, it's now fixed. Okay, hold on. Oops. All right.
Okay, okay. Let's um get back home. We started that up or we we fixed that one. Oh, whoa. I hate it when a game makes you play this way too where you have to put on you go reverse by braking. I hate that shit. I want to be able to change it, and it on this game it won't allow me to. We are going back here. I, I did not mean to do that, but anyway. We will have to repair these trucks up. I think what I'm going to do is go get a, a load of gas and take it to these other trucks first. And then we'll try to get them to the different places. Or we, what we can do is try to unlock that garage first. first too. That's what we will do. We only need three points, so... Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I need to be down here. All right, hold on. Let's, let's go back. I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, here, let's um. Let's do it this way. All right. Bad. This game is extremely hard to drive in. It's not like real life at all. It is so over exaggerated, it's not even funny. The way they have you driving in this, you should be going over two and three foot rocks. That's that is more of the experience that this game gives you. The road that they have here, you cannot hold the damn thing straight in the road. No matter what you do, you cannot hold it straight. This is Mud Runner. To, Mud Runner is the second game. Spin Tires is the first. Snow Runner is the third. And then um, it's Expeditions after that. Expeditions is slightly different. It's not it, it's a mud runner game but it's not in the same series exactly it's kind of a spin off all right now i'm thinking about just recalling this darn thing Yeah, this is the PC version. I, 
had the PlayStation version of this as well. All right, where? Right here is where we're trying to go. So it's kind of off to the right. If there's a mod for driving a little bit smoother, I would absolutely download it. To make it more realistic driving, I would 100% download the mod just to, to get the more normal, regular road driving. <laughs> It's, it, it's actually a little bit ridiculous how over the top it is. And SnowRunner is the same way to an extent, but it still drives so much better. The controls are 100% better. Even the, the games that are supposed to be like the best driving sims out there and stuff, they are completely unrealistic with most steering wheels, especially the Logitech steering wheels. Uh, now, if you get something like a Fanatec or something, they might be a little bit better. Uh, but honestly, it's... don't make any sense I thought that I was close to that already I thought it was further up off the road I don't know anyway um, but the wheels don't react like real life I can drive my car all day long and it's nothing like driving this okay have 200 liters of fuel spare wheel 100 okay all right um i have nothing in that right Yeah, my fuel cistern is completely empty, so uh, we don't need the fuel cistern. Garage parts. That's two garage parts, and then that's another uh, two right there. The semi is four. Um, I'd have to put the trailer hitch on, and it's not available. Mm, I don't know why. 
So, the garage trailer. If it tells you to position your truck properly, what's going on is that you do not have... You do not have, um, I don't know which way to go, but anyway, you don't have enough room behind you. All right, let's go and just check is there anything else okay that's all we need right now all right well This is not the same truck we were playing in Grizzly Creek. I think that this is actually an upgrade to that truck. I'm not sure. But it said this one was unlocked, I believe. take the Chevrolet Bison to the fuel center I think at night time especially uh, I have a much easier time driving with first person view I can't see good enough at night to do it the other way, so. Looks like a fire on the mountain or something.
the bigger trucks in this game drive so much better than the smaller ones. But I will say, there's no incentive to stay on your side of the road in this game. You just take up the whole road. <laughs> says we're 270 meters away and going down fast so and there's the uh thing so we're we're here at the garage now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to get all of my trucks to a different garage is unlocked awesome okay first off let's go ahead and turn off the truck and we're going to change this out uh fireproof exhaust i don't know exactly what's going on Oh, whoa. It just downsized on me automatically. What the hell? That was weird. Uh, so the fuel trailer. This will be my log truck for the final push on this map, but uh, fireproof exhaust, the fuel cistern. I don't want to get a fuel trailer. Uh, that'll just be too much. I don't want that trailer. Uh, we will grab the spare wheel. The utility trailer. Oh, I don't know that these need repairing if they need repairing maybe we'll do something else but uh for now i think that this will be fine so let's go ahead and go up the road here get some gas and take it to whatever we need to or We'll just get gas and try to get everything back up to this garage. Now, the Western Star, we're going to go ahead and try to do... Uh, a little more on, I guess, but I need to check how much is needed for those specific um, trucks, like how bad off they are. So we're going to go park this gentleman up here. Once we park him and we get the gas, we'll be good to go. Uh, I'm going to park him over here for now to where he is... He's able to just fuel him up. All right, let's put the parking brake on. Let's go ahead and stop our engine. All right, let's uh,
Why is it? I, I don't know. It's just really weird. Okay. We've got the Freightliner, which I want to be a I want the Freightliner to to actually be one of my fuel trucks. This is going to be one of my exploring trucks for the the lookout points or whatever. So that's the next thing we need to do is the watch points. So we will definitely set him up for exploring along with the, the blazer and the other uh, F-150. Working at the car wash. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We had a phone pole or <laughs> some kind of pole. I don't know what it is. Bad you ever seen car wash with Snoop Dogg in it? It's hilarious. <laughs> that and the um Soul Plane. Oh my god, they're so good. They're they're so hilarious. <laughs> Right, let's um back him up. It said fifty eight points earned. All right, let's put the parking brake on. Okay, so we do have to go back and get more gas with this, but for now it's good. So, um, stop the engine and let's find the next one. Um, uh, I think we're going to go ahead for the Chevrolet Bison and. It says it can carry short logs. Uh, this is not a an off-road vehicle, though. Honestly, I'm not sure what I should do with this. Um, I don't think taking it to this garage would be a good idea. Uh, I, I really don't know. Um, It's already got a lot of damage to it, and I don't think that the bison is meant for, for off-roading in any way at all. And that goes off-road there, so. Let's take him back up to the garage. Wait, did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. I did. K9. 
can I turn around? I need to get to that garage behind me. Yeah, no problem. All right, here's what we're going to do then. First off, let's turn this off. All right. Uh, I'm not going to use this as a log truck. I'm going to use it as a fuel carrier for this garage so let's go ahead and not suited for off-roading so at this point we can't go any further let's go ahead and start it up this is a fuel run uh, for this particular garage right here so that for me that's what the bison is best for is a fuel truck and I don't need a huge uh, trailer with me for this but but that does tell me that the other ones are probably going to be better suited or they're probably going to need to be fixed before we oh shoot oh 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 whoa whoa <laughs> they're going to need to be fixed before we start transporting them so I think that's what we're going to do is try to fix them. The one, the Chevy or whatever it is, uh, we're, the one that's not an off-roader, we are going to go ahead and uh, Maybe we better just use this as a to fuel up those others and not worry about taking it back down there. We can use the Western Star to go back down there if we need to. But, whew, we're going to end the episode here and do one more today. I 
All right. Let me give me a drink. That sucks. I'm out of tea. Uh, I tell y'all what, give me a minute. I'm going to run and grab uh, a drink. I'll be right back. Maybe that'll help me wake up. All right. All right, let's uh, jump back into going on down the road here. How busted is this? Oh, I've already fixed this guy, so he's actually good to go. I have very little gas. I think it gives you up to 200 liters of gas. I don't remember. So if at any time we run out of gas, that's what I want this truck for. But uh, we'll have to maybe use one of the smaller trucks for that same thing i don't know once i get all of my trucks repaired and gassed up though we should be good to go ahead and uh Go ahead and try to get them into work. So I'm going to have basically have two trucks this time that I'm going to use. The one I, I initially used to unlock the other garage. And then the Western Star, I think it's called. We're going to use those two to attempt to pull the logs that we need um, I might try to do a long trailer I, I don't know the long trailer I don't get the point of doing six uh, six point loads because at that point I mean what do you you do at that point to be honest it, it's like Maybe the Western Star could do two smaller loads or something. They're three points a piece, but that's still over like too many points. I, I It's still the same number of trips is what I'm saying, I guess. need to be able to zoom out so much more on this.
I'll actually take that other truck to get those other two repaired, I think. And gassed up. Go. Let's go get them other two fixed up. I do like these old military trucks. It's getting to be nighttime. Uh, cut on our light. It's not really helping too much right now.
that time, it's that dusk time. It's very hard to see. Are we here? Yeah, we're here. There's actually a log station right here behind us. And I think that this is going to be the log station that we use. All right, y'all. Let's, uh... Oh, no. So we want the Western Star fixed. Now. Uh... All right, they're both good to go. So. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy back up the road. go ahead and uh, make this into a log truck and then make the Western Star into a log truck. I think we need to um, do the watch things first though. Watch towers. That's a completely different gameplay mechanic than what we're doing here. So It'll mix it up a little bit, but...
I didn't even fill that up. All right, let's reconfigure this truck. Start it off with a 480 repair points. What the? Okay. Start it off with uh, stopping the engine. And we don't need a fuel cistern. So what we need is... Short logs, medium logs. Okay. So, all right, the medium log cart, take that off because what we want to do is position ourselves before we do that. I'm going to go ahead and just back this guy up anyway, and then we'll, we'll grab that once we've got the other one up here in our our stuff is ready to go so let's just turn him off all right let's uh let's go to the map and we want to do the western star the heck that don't make sense I thought that that was part of it okay now I like the western star it's a pretty good vehicle we're going to go ahead and just put those on.
honestly that other truck we don't need to go to it at all there's no real need at all Okay, let's go ahead and Okay, yeah. All right, let's just do the medium log trailer, but then we've got this log carriage that could also do a small load. Um, I don't know what the... I don't know why we would need that, but... If we done the log carriage with, yeah, you can't do that. So, I'm trying to figure out how to maximize the amount of logs I can get that if each okay you gotta have two with eight so we could do it in two trips if we could take a small load and a large load but not a medium load and a large load so we'd still have to do the extra trips and it's not really worth it if you do it that way so to get the long one Now, that would give us...
only six. So yeah, uh, I don't think there's any way we can split the load in between two different ones. So I don't see the point of trying to do the other one, but let's uh, go ahead. Let's do one of them that way since we've never done that. I guess we'll have to do that. And then the long. I, we don't need the loader to be honest, but. For what we're doing. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a go. While I'm sitting here. We know there's a log station out here, but. Why the heck is it doing that? All right, let's just actually turn this guy off. I didn't think about it, but yeah, we need to, um, we need to go scouting first. So we'll, uh, go scout. Let's use. I think that those are actually ones you can call to come help you out. I'm not sure, so let's go for the... That one. Oh no, that one's way down there. This one needs to be taken up here anyway, so let's just go with it. Let's look right quick and see. All right. It looks like there's a watch point right here. So we got to see if we can find it. Now we are, we're fine on our damage right now, but this right yeah I think that this is right I don't know how to recall something to come help you but we might figure it out at some point Probably not a good idea.
All right, we got one of them. All right, now we have the task of getting back up to one of these places. So I think to I think we need to recover it in the garage just to get it out of here. I don't want to even bother trying to um, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so let's just go out and try to make it down. <laughs> Oh, nice. Toxic waste up here? What the heck, man? still up on the hill I am oh no all right we're just gonna um To the road, but I'm not sure where we're going. Uh, we need to go the opposite way. Okay. We'll pick this back up very soon, even though it's going to be spooked over. I am going to go ahead and finish this uh, map at least at some point here soon. Let's uh, find where we're going now. It looks like there's a watch point right here. Yeah, 
and then oh I had breakfast a while back bad uh, let's try to get that watch point and that's probably going to be the end of this game today um, and then we will uh, we're going to play an hour or so we're going to play a little bit on American Truck Sim and we're going to try to do cruising Arkansas on it today Actually, let me cut my truck off a minute. had to look up something right quick all right um we're gonna get <clears throat> we're gonna try to get this um working All right, I'm trying to figure out where this thing is actually at. If we look at our map, it's got that it's right here, but I want to go here and then here, I think. So let's let's go for that. Bad, do you play on your TV or are you just using the handheld version? This is, this is my spot. Okay, we need to release that winch and hook it up to that one maybe
shit. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's, uh... Fix our truck. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think where we're going at this point is going to be. Huh. It needs to be up here. But I'm honestly a little bit worried about getting there. So I'm going to just put a point here. And then put one here. If you mark exactly the middle of where it says watch point, it's there. So, all right, let's uh, see if we can't get out of here now. <laughs> Um, there's actually a road here. Now, I hate to do this because I see rocks. And anytime you see a rock, that rock can cause you to wreck and damage yourself. Now, what road are we on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it goes right here. If you look, there's another road that actually goes across. I'm wondering if there's actually other trucks in here. If we go across here, let's just say we go here to here to here to here. And then we can go back up the other way maybe. But it's looking like on this map, there are actually trails to get to most of these watch points. I just don't know the trails until I start getting out. All right, yeah, we got enough time that we can get one more. Honestly, I would, um, I would kind of like to finish this map today, but I, I want to finish that event on American Truck Sim as fast as possible. Damn. That's what I'm saying about rocks. You just drive over the rock and it's going to damage you. How the hell am I supposed to get to that?
right, here's a road right here. I'm wondering if we have to have one of the bigger trucks to get to it. be a little bit smarter about this and hope that we don't just flood our truck completely. Might be able to do that last one here but i i don't know honestly we'll have to go back across and go up that way and it might honestly be easier to just go jump in one of those and go try it i don't know we are we're gonna attempt all right scared of. All right. Well, we're done with this guy. Let's recall him to the shop. Cover and garage. No, I got him. I had them automatically pull him out. All right, we're good. Uh, I am fixed up. I need to go fill up my my fuel tank now. We'll just we'll do the logs next time we play this.
These trucks are so hard to darn control. The smaller ones that you can go up the hills with and stuff. Yeah. the hell is wrong with this thing? Sliding everywhere. Yeah, I am way away from here. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Well, this is a an entrance right here, it looks like. We're going to actually go ahead and skip night this time. Holy crap. This is not, this ain't going to work. No way. This is not where I need to be going. I seen that and I thought, hey, that's going to be a road to where I want to go. And it's some sort of road pathway, but it's not what I needed. Here's another one, and it's right there, so we're going to attempt to take this one. Oh, gosh. You got to be careful when you do this stuff. Okay. Whew. Man, that was rough. All right. Uh, so here's the deal. When we come back on this, what we can do is go ahead and First off, I'll tell you what. Let's s jump into the skitter because I want to see it. I want to make sure that it's unlocked. Just put it that way. So, um, it needs to be fixed and it needs fuel. Uh, I'd have to bring fuel to it and points. And to do that, that would be a lot to, it's a lot of points. So I'm not sure what I would want to do with that, but I think it's, it's fine. But, um, I don't think that this is a, a log station that we're going to use, but I did want to see it. Now there's all this other stuff out here that we can look at later. Um, but anyway, it looks like.
I need to get this out of the woods. This is so tough to do because you try to fall down the hill. Get this guy off the road. I'm going to take him up here where the freight liner is. I did on the other map on Grizzly creek or whatever it is i actually fell down the hill i rolled down the hill in the truck it about uh killed me I'm not sure if I could do this or not, but I might be able to load logs off of a trailer onto another truck and have them go back and forth. I don't know if that would work. Um, I don't see the reason to, to even um, do that, to be honest, though. Let's go ahead and jump back into the Western Star now. And actually, let's jump into this. I think that this might be the one that we need to, to really look into doing. So, uh, we'll do at least one with the other, and then we'll try to do one with this. But that's where we're going to uh, end this one here. All right, my recording is remuxing. I'm going to go on and uh, save the game. All right. We've played two hours of it. It doesn't say if we got all of the trucks or not. Um,
Okay. So we might have to come through and play it on hardcore mode later. I don't know. All right. Uh, manage mods. Available mods. Installed mods. Certified only. So wait a minute, wait a minute. These are things that... Okay, I think I see. So these are mods you can get and put them in here. I got you. Um, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what that means. Um, it's a map. That's cool. And then there's another. It's okay. I don't know. Uh, I'll look into that later. But anyway, that's going to be it for Mud Runner today. So if y'all are here watching live or the archive, for the live people, I'm going to be doing American Sim Truck uh, here in just a minute, American Truck Sim. But um, for those of you watching the archive, thank you very much for being here, and I'll see y'all next time. Y'all next time.